Hello, and welcome to my editor's tour of the latest issue of Wargames Illustrated magazine, WI441, September 2024. Before we start cruising through the pages, let's take a quick look at this month's freebie frame giveaway. It's a Warlord Games Napoleonic Late French Line Infantry Sprue, six of Bonaparte's finest soldiers, ready for the attention of your paintbrush. This single sprue currently weighs in at £9.50 or $15 from the Warlord web store, so it's well worth the cover price alone. We begin our flick through the mag with Observation Post, where we look at some tasty new plastic products from Battlefront and Wargames Atlantic. Turning to metal and printed releases, Release Radar has a dozen or so new hobby products to tempt you out of your hard earned cash. In quickfire, we have some World War II big guns for you to ogle. Before we head to our first article proper, in which Matt Parks paints four models from your freebie frame, taking the great coated French infantry into four different theatres of the Napoleonic Wars, using army painter war paints to apply the relevant colours. There's more Napoleonic action for you in our next article, as Bill Gray revisits light infantry during the early 1800s, accompanied by some smashing photos of Perry Miniatures, Lights and Jaegers. Leros 1943 was an eye-catching demo game presented at the Joy of Six, specialist 6mm wargame convention earlier this year. Ian Taylor shows us how he made the board and gathered his forces for this Greek island amphibious assault. For our next article, Canadian author Lisa Smedman dusts off an old copy of Ranger Commandos by Parker Brothers and considers how this vintage board game could be repurposed for modern wargaming. Over the next six pages, Ruckus author Mike Peters presents rules for mounted characters in games of Nevermind the Ruckus. Flying in the face of admittedly easier flag making techniques, Barry Hilton shows us how to bring stunning looking standards to our armies using cotton, piano wire, paint and patience. Nick Buxy makes a welcome return to WI, presenting a miniature passion project based on the lawmen and gangsters of the Prohibition era. The release of Wargames Atlantic's new range of grand battle scale 10mm plastics seemed worthy of further investigation, so we spoke to WA's Hudson Adams about the project. We have another interview up next, this time with Bolt Action author Alessio Calvatore in which he fills us in on everything we need to know about the third edition of Warlord's best-selling World War II rules. For our final article, we head to Vietnam for a second tour of duty in Vehicles of Vietnam Part 2, looking at transport and gaming in and around the Ho Chi Minh Trail. I'll pause briefly on the next issue page to share the news that next month we will have a free Valor and Fortitude compendium for you with the magazine, featuring rules and photos by Jervis Johnson and the Perry Twins. That's your lot, but don't forget there's a free French Napoleonic Line infantry frame with this issue. Head to our web store to find out where you can buy your copy of WI441, the September issue of Wargames Illustrated. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.